So one thing I've noticed over the years, a lot of people are confused on how to use the wrist to create top spin. And I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done in this video. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started. Okay, so the reason I'm making today's video is I was working with one of my students this weekend and my student can hit topspin, but kind of on and off with it. And uh, so he's having some timing issues. So I, I got the Topspin Pro out for him. This thing is really cool. Uh, you can go in the description below if you are interested in getting yourself one. And I told him you need to get one because as we were doing this drill, what I love about the Topspin Pro is it doesn't lie. If you're coming here and you're hitting spin on it, this thing's gonna rotate, but the second you don't hit spin on it, the ball doesn't move. Okay, and he was out there and like a lot of guys do, he was whacking this thing as hard as he could and he was swinging and, and the ball wasn't really moving much at all. Sometimes it'd have a little spin, sometimes it'd have no spin. He almost knocked it over a couple times. And so I asked him a question, I said, okay, when you're thinking about hitting top spin, are you using your wrist before you hit? Are you, are you snapping your wrist before you hit? on the hit or after the hit? And he said, well, I'm thinking about using my wrist and, and spinning the ball before I hit. And I explained that that was his problem because sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't because you're not really using much wrist. You might, you might think you are before you're hitting the ball or even during the hit. Those two things can really mess you up. So I wanna show you, we're gonna, we're gonna get a super close up of when you actually wanna to start to use your wrist on the topspin forehand so you get a lot of spin and it's gonna surprise you and you're, you're gonna see how much this thing is spinning so this thing doesn't lie, you'll see that you're able to get a lot of topspin just like my student did. Okay, so like I was saying, a lot of people think you gotta like add a lot of spin like up up to the ball to hit the, to hit the top spin. And he especially was kind of like moving his wrist in this manner. This is a, this is a big no-no. So he was kind of going like that, like that with his wrist. And you can see that that ball didn't spin at all. Okay, and I was explaining that when you get into a unit turn, it's a set it and forget it thing. See, once I get here, I'm done. My wrist is in a laid back position. So what you want to do, especially if you're going to be in more of a modern stroke, get yourself in a semi-western grip. It doesn't have to be a semi-western grip, but that's what a lot of the pros are using. You just drop your racket, you pick the racket up, you're holding it like a frying pan. I like you to flex your wrist up like this. You notice a lot of pros are getting ready to return. They stand just like this because why? They're ready to hit. You're ready to hit like this. You're pretty much done. That's the cool part. You almost can't mess up from here. So then you're here, and then when you drop down here, now especially, now you're really done, okay? So if I'm down here getting ready to hit, all I have to do now is not mess up. If my hand is below the ball, see, rather than push my wrist at the ball, which a lot of people do. See, now I'm pushing my wrist at the ball. Look how the ball is not moving. What you're gonna do instead and I bet you never thought about this, and as soon as I had my student do this, it worked. Think about keeping this wrist back here, but pushing your forearm up to the ball, leaving the wrist in the laid back position. Now you see how that ball's spinning? See, if I push my forearm to the ball, look at all the spin we're getting. Okay, that's the forearm creating that. I'm not adding any wrist, guys. Look, my wrist is still in this laid back position. My wrist is still in this laid back position. I'm pushing the forearm to the ball. We're getting a ton of spin. So the wrist doesn't really happen till you hit. You come here. Now right at this point, when you're fully extended out, see, no wrist, no wrist, coming here. Now when you start to get fully extended out, you start to turn the wrist over. That's when you're gonna add the wrist. Well after you hit, you know, you might feel some acceleration, some push, you think you feel like you're snapping, but you're really not snapping your wrist, okay? You're kind of like really accelerating, getting ready to push your hip into it, and then you're attacking the ball actually with your forearm right here, right? Hip, shoulder, forearm, boom, going there, look at all that spin. Very little wrist, which a lot of people get, get confused on that. So. There you go, guys. That is how you use your wrist on the forehand. And you know what else you need with that forehand? 
you need a big serve to set up that forehand. So right now, to end this video, I'm gonna hook you up with my most popular serve course, serving A to Z. It will take you from A to Z on the serve, from just starting out to learning to hit a kick serve, a slice serve, get your toss under control. I'm gonna put the link right up here in the card section, and we'll put it also in the description section. Make sure to check it out, and we'll see you guys in the next video.